Hey everybody, it's Angie Treasure Vintage. I'm going to be showing you some more of the Sarah Coventry jewelry that I have. And I'm going to be showing you the pieces as they are in the book. Identifying Sarah Coventry Jewelry, 1949 to 2009. And it's the Sandra Sturdivant and Shirley Crabtree book. And... Uh, I will insert a picture of that in the video. But these are the first things I have. These are from 1957, and they are called Blue Fire. So pretty, the way they're made. And the way they really glow, like, that's a good name for them, Blue Fire. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm just getting over a cold. Here they are in the book. And hopefully you can see that. Make it a little smaller. I know there's a big blob of, of uh, yeah, whatever that is, reflection on there. That's funny, because there it says reflections. <laughs> And there's a big reflection. <laughs> okay, these are not the reflections, but they are the blue fly, blue fire clip-on earrings. Okay, that was the first item. 1957. It's one of the older things that I have. Here's another older, older piece that's really cool, I think. I put this recently in the uh, Sarah Coventry and Emmons facebook group um i posted this i think it's so cute I've never seen anything like it you can just tell it's old it's got the older marking on it and it is called puppy love i don't know if you can see the texture in the um enameling or not it's kind of guilloche type and especially there in the red but that's a really cute necklace, pendant necklace from 1960, um, I think. Let me see here. Yeah, the poodle. It's called Puppy Love from 1960. There it is in the book. And Puppy Love, 1960. And here we have Little Doe. Isn't that cute? Little Doe is from <clears throat> 1964. I love all the texturing. That's just a cute pin. I don't know if this one's a... a a common one or not, but I don't remember seeing many of these around. So, it might be a little bit rare. Here it is in the book. Coming up. It's a little difficult to do the book. With all the lights and such around, but... I have to slide it in under the phone thing and under the light, but there it is. In the book, Little Doe, 1964. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Coming up is one of my favorites. I just love these. I just think they are so pretty. I mean, I, I just like the way they look so much. All the texture in them. And the shooting star theme. I just think they look so um, mid-century, so atomic looking. They're so pretty. Let's see them in the book, see what year they're from. Okay. 
Oh, they're on the other side of the page, which is really going to be hard to show. So I can't show those. But they are from... Ah, oh, Shooting Stars, what they are called. And they are from 1960. Wow, they're cool. They're one of my favorites, I would have to say. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we are going to show some colorful ones. I, I kind of like the color of these. It's kind of a bluish gray. And they're called Fashion Frost. And look at the, the details on those. The texturing around the edge. And on the back, and kind of a dark slate color. They're pretty cool. They are from 1976. They are right here in the book. Right here. Fashion Frost, 1976. And what is next? Next we have a pin and earrings that I actually have both. The pin and the earrings. I love the design of those. They look atomic too, don't they? Just the almost like a Saturn type look or something like planet planet or something with some rings around it I don't know just reminds me of something well it's called orbit that's the name of it orbit so I was I was going along the right lines right orbit oh I bet that the coral color would be pretty too, or the red. I've never seen that one. But these are the ones that have kind of like the, you know, the, it's faux turquoise, but it has the gold flecks in it. So that makes it kind of interesting. Of course, the, the different finishes. I love that part. Next is a very cute pendant necklace. And she is called Golden Dove. She hangs like that, kind of upside down. So pretty. in really nice shape this is a little blue sorry I keep bumping the my tripod this is a blue stone in the eye and it's in pretty nice condition really nice condition actually that is from 1975 Golden Dove. Here we have Mr. Seagull. I think this is a kind of common one. 1974. I like the sleekness of that pin. It's really nice. Sarah Coventry jewelry really holds up well, too. I like that about it. Uh. 
And there it is in the book. And Mr. Seagull, 1974, along with some other pretty pins there. Next we have <clears throat> a ring, which is really pretty. Just hold it like that, maybe. Isn't that pretty? I like the shape of it. I like the glowiness to it. Kind of opal. Uh, let me see what it's called. It's called Moonbeam, 1977. It's in very nice condition. Adjustable. Here it is in the book. There's no real what, good way of doing this with showing you the book. But right here and Moonbeam, 1977. Oh. Pretty other rings there too. Coming up we have Um, looks like I didn't mark one of the pages, maybe. Um, okay, well, maybe I didn't mark Madam Butterfly. And I'm not sure what year she's from because I didn't have my mark in my book. Oh, here I had I knew I had a paper with her. She's Madame Butterfly from 1971, so I'm not gonna show you her in the book, but very pretty finish. That's really a pretty butterfly. And the last one I have is a really pretty um, cross pendant, a nice big one. Isn't that pretty? It's Victorian. It's called the Victorian Cross. Um, it's 1973 Victorian Cross. So pretty. <clears throat> I love the open work and the finish on it. Oh, does that say something? Is this a limited one? Yeah, limited edition. So that's nice. So, I have a couple boxes yet to go through of the Sarah, but I don't have them ready right now. So, that'll be it for today. But here is, see if I can get this phone out of the tripod for you. I'm right here by my window. It's my neighbor's yard there. And here's the book. 
instead of putting the picture in, I'll just show it to you here. It's the Identifying Sarah Coventry book. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and share and all those things. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Now my hands are full and I can't turn the video off. <laughs> Bye for now.